Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Chapter 2 in my second edition of Objective C for Absolute Beginners. We're going to be talking about programming basics, both using Alice and Xcode. Um, be kind of a real quick introduction to using an Xcode or um, Alice and why I use Alice to introduce the principles in object oriented programming first before we hop into the more complex issues of the Xcode IDE and uh, build an application. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up Alice. I'm running Alice 3 beta currently. Um, the reason I'm using Alice 3 beta is because Alice 3 works on Lion for the Mac. Um, whereas the, uh, the Alice 2.2 and earlier only work on, uh, um, you know, Tiger and, and, um, the prior to, uh, 10.7. So I'm going to go ahead I open up my, uh, my X or my Alice project, and I'm going to go ahead and select a uh, scene and I'm just going to pick snowy project. It's winter time here in North America. And so I'm going to pick, uh, pick that scene and the this IDE the Alice uh, the Alice IDE is very similar in um, in form anyway to Xcode and so it's a great um, place to learn um, to code uh, from an object-oriented basis you don't have to um, I you can just skip right to the Xcode if you want to uh, but I, I like to introduce it first so anyway we have our scene editor here we have all the methods or in Alice they're called procedures that belong to the object, in this case, the scene that we're looking at. But I want to add, um, I want to add a little bit more interesting items to the scene. And so let's go and look at some of the objects that I could add. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and choose, um, I'm going to choose a lunch lady here. Just kind of drag it up to go ahead and create my lunch lady, um, object and I'm going to let it um, default to the lunch lady name. I could change that name to whatever I want and I can see what the name is, who it belongs to and um, how it's initialized. And by clicking OK that's the same, th same thing we're doing with object-oriented programming by what's called instantiating which is copying our object from um, copying it and initializing it in memory. And so we have our object here in the scene. It's just one. We could add several, and we'll talk about how to do that later. I'm going to click back on Edit Code, and we're going to do the typical Hello World program first in Alice, and then we're going to hop over to Xcode and, and do the same thing. So let's go down here and look for the method say for this particular object. I have Lunch Lady. So all these methods belong to this object, Lunch Lady. And here they're already written for us, just like they're going to be. A lot of them are going to be for um, for uh, for Xcode and our iPhone development. And I'm just going to drag it up here, my lunch lady, and I'm going to choose custom text, and I'm going to say hello world. Okay, so now it says hello world and let's go ahead and run it here um, in my scene editor and there it is it kind of quickly shows up hello world um, but we have some parameters that we have with this particular method for say I have hello world and um, I have another parameter for that goes with the string that says how long it's going to display so we can display it for 10 minutes or 10 seconds I'm sorry is the uh, is the parameter here but I could do custom as well and let's go ahead and run it so it stays up a little bit longer so my my first parameter is the string that it's gonna say the second parameter is how long it's gonna say it alright so now let's go ahead and go into Xcode and do the same thing we can't get quite as fancy yet um, with an iPhone application But we can do something similar. So in Xcode, I have Xcode running. This is uh, Xcode 4.2. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Um, 
and I'm just going to go ahead and this is going to be, we're not going to hop into iOS programming quite yet. We got a few things that we need to learn. I'm just going to go ahead and create a command line application. All right, back when in our DOS days or our Unix days, which is how our applications ran, but we're not going to have a slick user interface in our application yet. And we're going to call this uh, Hello World. And I'm going to select Next. Select where I want to save it and hit Create. And it's going to create and save the project to a directory. And um, and it tell me I will say replace. All right, so it's going to go ahead and create the project for us, just like very similar to Alice. And over here on the left hand side, I have my files. We're going to go to the dot main um, file here. That's kind of where the entry pro point of all of our Objective-C programs are, even in iOS programming, iPhone and iPad programming. And we're going to change this from Hello World to, uh, right now it's going to say Hello World, it's going to say Hello World, this is Gary at excelme.com. And um, let's go ahead and in here, let's make sure that we have turned on where we can see the output window down here. This is where everything in a um, in a console program and uh, a Cocoa application is going to get written here to the output window. Later, when we learn to write iPhone applications, we're going to run it in the iPhone simulator that's available on our desktop, which I think I probably have a one running right now. Here's the iPad simulator where um, we can run our applications to, to test them out. But we're going to run it right now, our Hello World program in the output. I'm going to hit Run and let it go. And hopefully, if everything is correct, my syntax is correct, um, my application will compile and say Succeeded and will run here in the output, down here in the output window. And I'll see, Hello World, this is Gary at Excel.me, um, eventually show up down here in my output window. And here it is, the application ran just fine. Now, if you made a mistake, like um, forgetting a semicolon um, or something like that, you're gonna get, it's not gonna compile, you're gonna run it and you're gonna get a build error. Saying that it failed, you're gonna get a red thing, you're gonna get red all over your screen and you're gonna get some sort of error message. And depending on the type of error and how easy it is for the compiler to kind of figure out what it is, you can go ahead and click on it and it will sometimes recommend what the fix is. And this is saying, hey, silly, you forgot the semicolon, add it. Do you want me to add it? I'll click on it and say yes, it adds it. And um, now I can go ahead and rerun the application. And it compiled, says it compiled successfully, no issues, and here is my output running just the way I'd want to. So this is in chapter two of my book. Um, we're going to cover more topics starting uh, next month in Jan the beginning of January. If you'd like to see the schedule, just go to um, excelme.com. I'll bring it up here in two seconds. Hopefully, if I can get, um, there we go. Just go to excelme.com, click over here on the free videos, and it has the schedule of what we're teaching. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about um, um, chapter two, and then right after this we're gonna go and cover storyboarding as well tonight, and that will be recorded on YouTube. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And every time I upload the new videos, if you can't attend live, you'll get notified of the video and um, can watch it um, as well. And then, of course, um, I talk more in depth in all these chapters in iPhone development in my courses. Just go ahead and click on the schedule or courses, and you can see um, the courses in the schedule in January. We're going to be starting from scratch from the very beginning in the six-part series starting in January. All right, well, thanks for attending and look forward to seeing you uh, next week.
Have a great new year, everybody. Thanks.